Hi everyone, I am so excited about this solo session because today's piece has been written by the American composer Ken Fuchs and it has been such a joy to work with him for the last couple of weeks um, on this gorgeous piece full of character and it's called Orion Indigo. Hi Ken, how are you? Hi Amy, it's so great to see you. I'm doing well, how about you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, yeah, enjoying um, playing your amazing piece. And so I just wanted to start off by saying thank you so much. When I, um, when I was in touch with you a few weeks ago and wondering whether you might like to write a piece that kind of reflected your thoughts on what's happening in the world at the moment, um, I did not expect you to send me such an extraordinary conversation. <laughs> thank you. Thank I, you. I, I, I so appreciate that. And, and Truly, your idea for the solo sessions is so wonderful, and, and it's such a, a, an uplifting way to bring music to the world. So I, I, I congratulate you on that. I'm deeply honored to be part of it. Thank oh, you. Oh, gosh. Well, we, yeah. <laughs> I'll stop because I could go on like this all day. <laughs> but um, mm. I, I, yeah, it, it is an extraordinary piece, and it is full of strong character and... Um, really takes us on a very clear journey and tells a story. And okay. I just think it would be the greatest privilege for us if you could tell us in your words what the piece is about. Sure. Well, you know, when you, when you wrote me a few weeks ago and, and said you wanted to have your composer friends compose short solo works for you that describe how we're feeling and how we're doing, I, I, it struck me um, a number of ways, but it made me think of one of my favorite Duke Ellington standards, Mood Indigo. And <clears throat> that put me in mind of um, a musical theater work, actually, that I composed in 1988. I was living in New York City. I lived there for 20 years and, and uh, had the wonderful opportunity to compose three chamber musicals with the American playwright, Lanford Wilson, very, very distinguished playwright, Pulitzer Prize. And he was founder and playwright in residence at Circle Repertory Company in the city, which was a very influential theater group at the time. And so we, over the course of five or six years, wrote three musicals and produced them, developed them and produced them at, at Circle Rep. And, and that was wonderful. But um, one of the works that we, created was called The Great Nebula in Orion. And it's one of my favorite plays by Lanford. And I'm just, if we can, I wanna just read for our listeners a little bit of, of the program note of the piece to give everybody an idea of what this music is like and then I'll, I'll talk about the That'd work that great. I wrote for you. Okay, great. So <clears throat> in the play, one of the characters, Carrie, a socialite from Boston describes the nighttime sky and constellations to her friend Louise, a fashion designer in New York City who lives across the street from the Hayden Planetarium, but who has never really noticed the constellations before. The music is meditative, suggested by Carrie's mood and the dialogue, which describes with wonder, recognizing Andromeda, the Bears, and the Seven Sisters. She describes Orion as, quote, three stars, big ones across, that's the belt. And perpendicular to the belt, there are three more, closer together and fainter. And that's his sword. And this, the center star in the sword, is the great nebula in Orion. And I've always had a affection for that, that aria, I was very proud of it. And um, <clears throat> so much so that over the years after the musical was produced, I, I wrote a few pieces for woodwinds and piano using some of the thematic material from the Orion um, aria. The first was uh, a work for Cor Anglais and piano titled After Orion, and then a clarinet work called Gazing at Orion, and more recently a, a work for oboe titled Orion Nocturne. So when you wrote to me, I thought about all of these things together and um, I wanted to use that music in a, 
in a work for you, but in a, in a different way. And for our friends who are listening and looking and watching today, the title of your work is Orion Indigo. So the connection to mood indigo and even my own mood at the moment, I think is, is pretty clear. Um, you know, I, I think I, I, I join, I think millions of global citizens who are feeling anxious and, and wondering what's going to happen to us, to our families, to the people we love and, um, what the journey back to life as we knew it, if it will ever happen again, what, you know, what is that going to be like? So, um, this, this, this Orion music <clears throat> is also part of my saxophone concerto rush. And, um, so I took the opening cadenza of, of Rush, which is for alto and uh, orchestra and also band, and um, fashioned a work for you that, that takes the music, which is, is wistful and meditative. And in the case of the musical, and I think Rush, the, the, there's an, a sense of aspirational hope to that music. But to be honest, for your piece, I think there's quite a different emotional arc and it's a journey from from hope but i think more toward resignation and um maybe even surrender i know that sounds terribly dramatic but it's difficult to feel hopeful right now yeah yeah no definitely and and i can hear all of that so clearly and feel it when i'm playing instantly when i played it so um, you've, you've written a great work. Thank you. Thank you. So, so we, you know, the work incorporates a, a, a few techniques, contemporary techniques that um, I hope will will tell the story. And, and when when our listeners hear it and hear your beautiful performance, the the interpolation of of, of growling and slap tongue and, and subtones and, and things that might not be too common to the to the listener, I. I I hope will help tell the story. I really yeah. love what you're doing with the piece. Oh, thank you. I think it's wonderful to be able to incorporate all of those um, you know, techniques uh, in in such a convincingly musical way as well. It, it um, it's yeah. A lot of people won't be familiar with. with well, that. my music is is generally tonal in nature. I mean not tonal in the sense of common practice period tonal, but I mean, it's, it's, uh, I want my music to be communicative and directly accessible. And, and um, although it's based in tonality, I mean, it certainly goes all over the place in terms of um, harmonic structure, but I wanted to use the, the techniques in a, in, a, in a communicative way, not just to use contemporary techniques because I'm a, a living composer and, and I should use them. So the, the techniques are also part of the, the journey and the story of, of the piece. Oh, definitely, definitely. Especially the slap tonguing at the end with the, it, 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 it's, it screams resignation. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very, very much for telling us about that. Thank you, Amy. I'm thrilled about this. I truly am. <laughs> okay, well, I hope to see you again before too long. <laughs> so in London. Yes. Oh, we look forward to it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Bye.